The next movement is called jowl, which is you call and you say is to coil. In many schools of sword swordsmanship, jowl is a movement like this where you have one part that stays still in space and the rest of the sword revolves around it. And this is what, uh, when I read the description uh, of what was, uh, there, I saw that there might be some departure from what was uh, originally in the manual. Uh, let's see, okay, so we are, we have cut up, we've cut up, we've cut here, okay. Now, he's thrusting toward this side. And I meet it like this. I say, press the tip down. They talk about pressing the tip down onto the, onto the, the rifle bayonet. Now, what happens is the rifle actually would be, he'd be trying to keep it up and not let me, not let me uh, deflect it. When I feel his pressure by pressing down with that edge, I jowl with the rifle, with, with, the, with the sword, you see. And so when he comes in like that and I touch, that pressure, you, remember they talk about sending your tip of your sword downward behind you and then stepping forward with the left foot as you cut. And that describes perfectly what happens there. There are two different responses. Well, one is to cut the hand. Another is to let it come over. And then there's the next move, which we'll describe in a moment. Once again, the way this looks is he comes in and I meet this. When I feel his pressure, I let it come past, and then, true to the form's you know, nature, I begin uh, devouring the distance between us while delivering a strike. So jiao is you feel pressure, and what happens is you move, and they talk about how your footwork, it makes the cryptic message at the end that your footwork must be very good. What they're talking about is I meet this weapon, and then I maneuver myself underneath the weapon. If you'll notice, watch this. It hits, and notice how it stays right where it is in space as you're coming around. And so that is what jowl is. And of course you'll be moving the rifle somewhat, but the important part of it is, is that footwork, because you're, you're not lifting it up. This is not jowl. This would be toe in some schools, walleye and others. But jowl is to slip this uh, weapon, to let it go past and then to get by. Okay, the next movement, you had Jiao. Well, let's start the very first movement where you're coming forward and you encounter powerfully the uh, rifle bayonet in order to cut the lead hand. The second thing you have happening is you encounter it and slip it in order to come forward and cut. The third one, the third, which is this next uh, possibility is that in the form you move aggressively to the left first and you encounter your opponent's weapon. Whereas this one we didn't. We met it, felt his energy and came around. This one you're encountering that thing but it, and, and instead of that you take control of it, slip by it and cut. And this is what this looks like. Let's see, Jim would come in, would move aggressively into it, put it past me, and then be on top of it. See that? So, once again, move it slowly. I step into it, I use this to get me around past, and then I'm in. And that's what that movement is. So then you have taking it downward away from you, passing it over you, or cutting the lead hand. Uh, three of the main ideas. And of course, if you've read the notes, the general talked about this as being very prized. Once again, footwork, it gets you around that rifle bayonet as you are pulling it aside with the blade. 